Good morning, South Rock. Welcome to another Incarnate Devo. Today is Isaiah 7, 10 through 14. This is deeply uh, Jesus-oriented. I, I don't know how you could read this and not think, well, this is obviously Jesus. Uh, but to give you a little backstory, basically what's happening in Isaiah here is uh, there's a split kingdom of Israel. So there's a northern kingdom called Israel and a southern kingdom called Judah. And Israel and Syria have teamed up in an attempt to uh, terrorize, take over, fight the southern kingdom of Judah. And so Isaiah is going to the king of Judah, Ahaz, and is trying to tell him, like, look, God is on your side here. Like, God is faithful to you and will be there for you. Uh, ultimately, I think he effectively says they're a burning stone. Like they've already been cut off and are melting away in fire. You don't need to worry. And God gives Ahaz an opportunity here. God says, ask me for a sign and I'll give it. It could be as deep as Sheol. It could be as far down as hell and it could be as high as the heavens. You just tell me what you need and I'll give it. I'll give you a sign, which is very rare. Uh, Jesus says that uh, a crooked and hypocritical generation asks for a sign. And so God here is saying, no, no, opposite. You ask for one and I will show you. And Ahaz refuses, which to us seems weird, but really what this shows is Ahaz's heart. Because what we learn is he had actually already gone to another king. He had gone to an earthly uh, partner named Tiglath-Pileser. It was a fun name. You can say it with me, Tiglath-Pileser. Uh, and he went to him to be allies in this war instead of going to God first. And so effectively what Ahaz is saying is not uh, no, I'm good. I don't want to test. I don't want to test my God. What he's saying is, I don't need to test my God because I'm already in line here with another country. Uh, but this is where we get into our scripture, which says this. Here then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men that you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which we know to mean God with us. And so, uh, this is very clearly Jesus. He's saying, uh, fine, you don't want a sign? I'll give you a sign. I will show you by sending my own son to you. Uh, little does Ahaz know that this is a, a future prediction. This is a thing to come. He's more speaking to Israel in general more than Israel at the time. This is a deeply Jesus, right? I mean, he's very clearly saying there is going to be a virgin birth of God with you. And so this is an amazing prophecy that Isaiah gives us. But what I really want to uh, focus on is like, God delivers this promise. It, it took time, but he delivered. But he delivered out of Ahaz's disbelief, out of Ahaz's unbelief, whichever one you want. And so what is something in your life that you're holding on to? What's something in your life that you don't trust God with, that you're seeking out earthly partners? Maybe it's something that you don't trust God because you want to hold on to it, a relationship, a uh, relationship, uh, I don't know, a, a, an idol, a, a sin, something in your life that you enjoy, but you know it might not be really directing you in the way of the kingdom. Uh, it could be, I don't know, it could be any number of things that's, that you're holding back from God, maybe because you don't trust him with it, because you don't want to trust him with it, because you like it. What is something in your life that you are holding back from God? Like Ahaz here is holding back his relationship with God because of an earthly partnership. Uh, what's something that you are like that with? And how can you start working towards realizing that God will deliver on his promises. God will show his promises in this fantastic, grand way. And that's by, like in this scenario, by sending his son to a virgin. So that's all I have for you. I hope you have a good rest of your Wednesday.